Sprogs Network. Hi, I'm Jack, and welcome to the Sprogs Network, where today we're creating space rocket videos for kids, children and toddlers. Today we are joined by Tim, an astronaut, who will help you to learn all about space rockets. Hey, thanks Jack. Yeah, it's great to be with you on the Sprogs Network where we'll be learning lots of fun facts about space rockets for kids. Please hit subscribe below to help Sprogs grow, and let's get started, because you won't believe the amazing rocket launch you're about to see. Wow, this Demon is an actual 10, space 5, rocket, shuttle 8, launch. 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Atlantis now in the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis almost two miles in altitude, almost six miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center already, traveling 500 miles an hour. Three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72%. It's amazing, of isn't it, Jack? So now let me tell you all about just how space rockets barrier. work. So, my notes say that this space rocket is called the Space Shuttle, and it was the first reusable spacecraft? That's right, Jack. The Space Shuttle was the first ever reusable spacecraft. This means they could be launched again and again. But that's just the shuttle. The actual space rockets aren't reusable, so they only had a one-time use. Space shuttles were first launched in 1981, and the shuttle to be launched back at that time was called Columbia. In 2011 the space shuttle was retired by NASA. That's right, the space shuttles were retired by NASA in 2011. The last ever landing was the space shuttle called Atlantis on July 21, 2011. NASA is the name for the US Space Agency. And NASA has launched a total of six space shuttles. So there wasn't just one space shuttle. There were lots. The space shuttles were called Enterprise, Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, Atlantis, and Endeavor. Amazing Michael, and so they need to take off like this right, with all the flames? Yes, space shuttles would take off like a rocket, so they could get into space quickly. When they were coming back down to Earth, they glided and landed like a plane on a runway. This was really helpful as it meant they could be used again and again. You see Jack, in the 30 years that space shuttles were in action, they managed to do 135 missions. During those missions, the International Space Station was constructed. That's awesome Michael, what else? So, the space shuttle could carry up to 8 astronauts at a time. They would never be short of company. Each astronaut would take part in scientific experiments, release and capture satellites and even help to build the International Space Station. A total of 355 astronauts flew on the space shuttles. Some astronauts even managed to go into space more than once. The first part was called the orbiter. This here is where the crew would live and do their work. It would also carry things into space. The second part was an external tank. This would be full of fuel and was attached to the orbiter to help launch it. The third part was the boosters. This provided the thrust and power in the first two minutes of launching. As the space shuttles have now retired, you can still see some of them in museums. They are located across America and millions of people travel the world to see them every year. And I read that space shuttles could easily carry satellites, space probes and other cargo to orbit around the Earth. Yes, however, one thing that space shuttles didn't do was take a man back to the moon, like the previous space rockets in the 1960s. Here you can see an astronaut stood next to the USA flag on the moon back during the moon missions, wearing his spacesuit to help him as there is no oxygen. And check this out, a satellite, which is an artificial object that is deliberately sent into orbit in space in the shuttles, usually in order to send, receive or bounce back information to different areas of Earth. Satellites are usually launched on rockets into space to reach their orbits. The International Space Station ISS, is the largest artificial satellite currently orbiting Earth. 
And here you can see the Earth from space. This is an amazing thing to see for anybody lucky enough to go up into space. Since the first satellite was launched in 1957, over 6,500 satellites have been sent into orbit, as at October 2010. An estimated 3,600 of these remain in orbit. With about 1,000 still operational, the rest are now classed as space debris. That's just about it from me for today as I must get back to the space station. But remember, myself and more than 600 other astronauts have now flown to outer space on space shuttles and other rockets. That's just about it for this video. Thanks Tim, and thanks to you all also for joining us today, here on the Sprogs Network. I hope you had fun learning today with these space shuttle videos for kids that were full of fun facts about space rockets for toddlers. And don't forget to quickly hit like, and subscribe for loads more fun educational videos for all you little monsters. We'll leave you with a few more pictures of our favorite space rockets for kids, and we'll see you in the next video. Sprogs Network.